Hello viewers, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install VMware SXIE server in VMware Workstation. In order to install VMware SXIE you have you need to have a minimum VMware Workstation version 9 and above 9 all the versions are supported. Okay uh, the first things we need to create a profile for VMware so I'll click on file and click new virtual machine I'll go with typical and here there is two option I will install the operating system later I will select this and here is the opening system details which opening system you're going to install so I will select VMware ASXi in drop down you have two version I'm going to select ASXi version 5 here you can specify the name for that virtual machine I'm going with the default name and the location where this VMware uh, where this virtual machine is going to install so again I'm going to default next here there is a default disk size I specify 40 GB I'm going to default with that this is as per your uh, requirement if you wanted to increase it to more you, you can do that for now I'm going with the 4 GB uh, 40 GB okay so here there are two options I'm going to select this the first option store virtual disk in a single disk single file and finish okay so once this profile has been created you are able to see this profile details here there is 2 GB memory 2 processor hard disk details and the ISO from where this virtual machine will going to boot up and going to install the open, uh, opening system so currently it is saying auto detect so I have to specify the ISO so I'm going to use ISO image file and browse it and that ISO image is I stored in desktop so I just select this ISO and select ok ok so now I have attached the ISO I'm just going to power on the virtual machine ok so it is able to find the ISO and there are two options you can see one is install the ESXi in version uh, OS and the other one is boot from the local disk so I'm going to select the ASXi installation It is loading all the drivers and modules. okay so in this section you will be able to see uh, whether you are going to continue with the installation press enter and if you if you'd like to cancel it press escape so I'm going to continue here there is a license agreement details if you wanted to read and go through all this license agreement you can go ahead otherwise you can press F11 here in this section you can see the disk 40 GB where uh, where this opening system is going to install I have select 40 GB while creating the VMware profile so this is why it is showing here <coughs> excuse me so I am going to press enter for continue in this section you are able to see uh, the language which language you are prefer to go with this installation I'm going to use us default default 
here you need to specify the root password password should be minimum 8, eight character So it is scanning the system and getting all the information before going to install the SXI on this disk. Okay, so here there is an uh, in this section it is saying the installer is going to install and uh, if you wanted to proceed you just have to press F11 for install if you want to go back uh, press F9 for cancel you have to press escape so I'm going to press F11 and here is the installation process started so it is just 9% completed this will going to take uh, 5 or 10 minutes for complete the installation I'm going to resume this video for now and we'll come back once it is completed okay so installation is successfully completed here is the message saying uh, SXI has been successfully installed in order to continue I have to press enter for reboot so I just press enter it will take a minute to reboot the system and for further instruction we need to follow system is booting up now so here you can see all the drivers and modules are loading it will take a minute also okay so now the system is loaded and it has given you a link http link with this ip address which has come from dcp server and <coughs> bottom of this you would be able to see two option one option is f2 which is for customized system view logs etc and there are other option f2 from which you can shut down the system restart the system so for now I'm just going to press F2 and show you the options under that in order to log in you need to give the root password which I have said earlier while installation here's the options which you, if you would like to customize you can be able to do that here uh, first option is about uh, configure root password configure management net network restart management network and other options I'm not going to change any options here and going with the default option and regarding this IP address you might be wondering how this IP address has been uh, populated here and how it has come from DSCP server it is because when I create this virtual machine I choose network adapter type is net so that's why it is coming from the DSCP servers and it has given a IP so I'm going to install I'm going to log in to this SXI server through vSphere so here is the IP and I'm going to log in with the root password and root user
ignore ignore this as well okay so in this vSphere I just added the ASXi system you can able to see the IP address for that ASXi system and in this ASXi system, ASXi system if you wanted to create VM you can able to create just click on just right click on that ASXi system and you have option called new virtual machine just click on that it is same as VMware workstation uh, like I have created the profile for ESXi so once you click on that there are two options typical and custom I'm just going to go with typical just specify the name of the virtual machine I'm just specifying as node 1 next so here is the data store where uh, you are going to uh, specify the disk size for your VM so default uh, when I create uh, when I install the SXI system I have selected 40 GB of disk so this is why it is showing here so select next I'm going to choose Linux and here is the version which you are going to install I'm going to choose Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 next and I'm going to go with a single internet so say next and the this size for the VM which you wanted to have I am going to select with the default size it is depend on you how much GB you wanted to use for that VM uh, where the, your operating system is going to install so 16 GB is enough for this demonstration so I'm going to use 16 GB say next and finish so here in below you are able to see the progress for that VM creation it is saying completed and you are able to see a virtual machine created under this SXI system and for this VM if you wanted to see more details about it if you you can go in summary here in VMware tool not install that is you can ignore for now because uh, since there is no OS installed in this VM uh, once you can load the OS you can install the VMware tool and other resource allocation information performance event and console information etc so I think this is it uh, this is how you have to uh, you have to install ESXi system in VMware workstation and I just showed you how you you can access uh, ESXi system through vSphere client so I think yeah this is it if you if you have any doubts or any anything you needs to uh, if anything you don't understand you can write your comment in uh, in this video below and I will uh, I will try to answer your query so for now I'm going to close this video thank you for watching have a good day